Poland suggests hosting U.S. nuclear weapons amid growing fears of Putin's threat. Poland say it has asked to have U.S. nuclear weapons based on its territory amid growing fears that Vladimir Putin could resort to using nuclear arms in Ukraine to staff off a route of his invading army. The request from the Polish president, Andrzej Duda, is widely seen as symbolic as moving nuclear warheads closer to Russia would make them more vulnerable and less military useful, according to experts. Furthermore, the White House has said it had not received such a request. We are not aware of these issues being raised and would refer you to the government of Poland, a U.S. official said. Duda's announcement appeared to be the latest example of nuclear signaling as the U.S. and its allies seek to deter Putin from the first nuclear use in battle since 1945, while preparing potential responses if defense fail that would have maximum punctuative impacts while containing the risk of escalation to all-out nuclear war. Previous war games conducted by U.S. administration have shown that it's a fine and fuzzy line to treat, given the uncertainty over Putin's states of mind and his records of giant miscalculation over Ukraine. Duda's remark on basing nuclear weapons followed changes in the constitutions of neighboring Belarus that would allow Russian nuclear weapons to be based on its territory. The police president said there was a potential opportunity for Poland to take part in nuclear sharing by using pilot from the host country are trained to fly mission carrying U.S. nuclear bombs, which are stored on their territory. We have spoken with American leaders about whether the United States is considering such a possibility. The issue is open, Duda told Gazeta Polska. Moving U.S. nuclear weapon into Poland could be a violation of the Nuclear Non-Proliferation Treaty and the NATO-Russian Founding Act in 1997. After the end of the Cold World, in which NATO stated it had no plan to deploy nuclear weapon on the territory of new members, Russia has meanwhile violated its own commitment under the Act. Nuclear experts also added it made little strategic sense for Poland or NATO. The Federation of American Scientists estimates the U.S. has 100 nuclear weapons left in the Europe in the aftermath of the Cold War spread among the Netherlands, Belgium, Germany, Italy and Turkey. They are all B-61 bombs, which has been seen as military obsolete with no missions in the event of a war with Russia. Arms control experts have long called for them to be removed from Europe. Putin has threatened to use all means at his disposal to defend Russian territory at the same time as declaring an annexation of four more Ukrainian regions. He made a declaration as Russian troops were in retreat in the face of a Ukrainian counteroffensive. The White House has warned of catastrophic consequences if Putin did resort to using nuclear weapon, but did not specify what those would be. It has said it has warned Russian officials privately, but it is not clear how much more specific those warnings have been. Actual NATO strikes against Russian military targets in Ukraine would represent a huge leap, turning the conflict into a war between Russian and NATO, something policymakers have spent nearly 80 years trying to prevent. That's all for today. Thank you and goodbye.